Hi everyone, this is Han. Uh, today the video is a bit different from what I normally done in the past and uh, because it's actually my first time to do a lens filter uh, more like a sharing than a review because I haven't done much in the past but I'd like to show you something interesting today uh, just a bit of background for myself I'm actually a portrait shooter or Sony Alpha user since uh, started since back in 2012 so I've been using Sony camera for the past 10 years and uh, yeah many as a hobbies and shoot sort of lots of portrait events and lots of people photo that mainly so yeah I like to collect some of the interesting lenses that create certain effect of, of course uh, we also own a lot of the Sony lenses as well as some G Master lenses as well uh, speaking back to the interesting lenses part because uh, sometimes if you want to create certain look in the photo or the view, then you want to uh, buy selected lenses to create that kind of look. So as an example, I often I like the image to be like a glowing and then like a blooming effect. So in the past, before this lens filter come out, <laughs> I actually own uh, some interesting lenses, but only manual focus. As an example, this one right here, this is uh, actually a lens baby. Oh, let me focus uh, on it. Turn off my eye detection so the camera will actually prioritize what is in front of the camera. So if I bring something up, so you focus on here. Okay, because currently I switch off the lens, uh, the eye detection. Okay, back to here. This is a lens baby velvet 20 and 28 millimeters f2.5 right there. So this lens here is actually to create some interesting. Uh, let me focus back to my eye. Okay, so it will actually uh, prioritize. Uh, like this lens, it prioritize the whole frame to be like a bloom and gloomy. Because uh, you, you control how much bloom and gloom by a picture setting. At widest, this is like at f2.5, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And you get a very nice blurry across the entire frame in the artistic way. But the issue is that sometimes when it's too gloomy, uh, not gloomy, too bloom too much, and uh, as the, uh, like as there's a part where you want it to be focused, and then it's a bit lack of contrast because the lens effect makes the whole thing so blurs out already. So with this filter that I'm going to share today, uh, it's actually quite interesting. As you just solve one of my issues that with this lens that I used previously because it's just too much blur sometimes. And I like to the part way to be in uh, sharp, it's still sharp. And then at the same time, uh, some part to be like a bloom effect. Uh, that's why with this filter comes in mind. So I oh, back to here, let me switch off. Okay. Okay, so this camera, yeah, this K and F concept, nano series. Uh, filter is actually called the Black Diffusion 18 MRC 82 millimeters as well as Black Diffusion 14 uh, MRC. So depends depending on different different strings that you want to use, and it, yeah, pretty much you can apply it on any lens that you have as long as of course you have a filter uh, on the <laughs> on the lens you can mount it on. But what you're actually watching right now, I'm using a 20 mm f 1.8 G, and then although this lens is actually uh, S smaller filter this is a 67 but this is a 82 so all you need to do is you just need to buy a step up ring then you can put the filter on this lens itself this is where i'm going to do the demonstration later it's to show you and yeah see which one is uh, the like, a, like which which filter is the best for you there's no right or wrong it's all up to personal preferences all right so just to show you my setup right here a bit so you can see what is happening right now i'm going to turn on my like a, this is Xperia Pro I here. I'm just gonna turn on the video recording right now. So just leave your auto done. It's recording right now. So you can see the, uh, oops, there's a bit of shadow right here. So you can see the Denny m 1.8G with the step up ring, I already put it on. Of course, this is a monitor, allow me to monitor what is actually happening right now. At the same time, there's a bit of sound right there at the background. But again, the sound that you're actually hearing right now is actually from this microphone. This is the, uh, uh, road microphone uh, for USB NT mini, I think that's the name. But yeah, to, it's to create my high, it capture my high quality sound from this thing. <laughs> that one is just for me to reference. Okay, let me go back to my eye. Oops, it's okay, don't worry. So it's actually uh, right now the yeah the sound is actually coming from here. Okay, back to this filter here. Just to want to demonstrate to you what how it actually looks, so you can see the light be, uh, above me right there. Okay, so the one I'm holding right now, okay, let me turn on this. Okay, this is at 1.8, this is at 1.8, so it's the uh, KNF Concept Nano X Pro MRC Black Diffusion, 1.8 at 82 millimeters. So I'm just gonna put it on the 20mm 1.8 uh, G right now, just to show you how it actually looks. 
Okay, so this is at 1 8. 1 8 of the power. So you can straight away see this gloom effect. Ooh, very nice, right? And then you can see this shiny, shiny, shiny part here. Okay, so it's uh, up to you. There's no right or wrong. And then whatever is on the camera right now, the setting, I actually set it on. Back to my eye. I actually set it on manual, fully manual. I, uh, I didn't do like let it auto adjustment. Oh. I set everything on manual. You see the setting in the below. And then also using SD tone at 5,500 Kelvin, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so this is the, the, you can see this light here, and then you can see this bloom, bloom part right here. And then I'm gonna bring up this light here. This is a power tube, uh, nano, not, sorry. Sorry, it's a non light, <laughs> not nano. Non, uh, non light power tube 26C right here. So you can see how this light actually blooms around. Then you can see this, this glowing part right here. Maybe I, I let the camera stay on my eye. So back to my eyeball again. Just do one more time. Okay, so you stay on my eyeball. Yep. So with this light here, so you can see how it actually uh, glow. Okay, you can see this effect right there. All right, so next is I'm going to switch over to uh, the another filter so you can see how it actually looks. Okay, I'm just going to take out right now. Okay. Again, I mentioned before, everything is on manual exposure. So regardless of what filter I put it on, it won't adjust any brightness because it's actually stay on manual right now. So this is the next one, is a one fourth. Again, it's up to personal preference. There's no right or wrong. See which one you like the most. So this is at one fourth. Okay, so you can see potential the, the bloom area right here. And then this, this glowing part here, as well as this light, you can see. Yeah, so yeah. Which one is the best for you? Again, it's up to personal preference. I think for me, I prefer the one fourth. Okay, I prefer one fourth, the, the way how you actually glow and the likes, likes around it. Okay, well, one thing I want to show you is that if I put my fingers above here, you can see this part here. If I go around, you can see it's a very artistically <laughs> interesting. Okay, it's like a bit of like a lens flare in a way, but it's not like a lens flare. But yeah, if you put a smoke something up and then like a smoke in the background, then if you do this kind of light source, it'd be kind of interesting to have the shape of light actually coming off from like this part here. Okay, yeah. Again, this is at the one fourth. And just to do one more time at one eight. Okay, so you can see from the back and forth. Okay, this is at one eight. So again, once you put it on, it will, yeah, you can use it to take a photo, you can use it to take a video. Nothing, there's no right or wrong, it's up to your personal preference. And this is at one eight, all right? Okay, so supposedly the one eight should have less blurry effect or gloom effect. I cannot say blurry, like the, 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 the way you focus is still sharp. It's still sharp. It's just that the gloom, uh, the highlight area is the, the bloom effect will be less compared to one fourth technically. Okay, but I also think that because of the one eight has having less blur or gloom effect, the light transmittance value could be higher. Uh, I mean the light transmittance. You know how the T T stop works. So this is the same thing. So I suspect that one eight has the more light transmittance than one fourth because one fourth having greater more bloom effect. All right. So you can see it's slightly brighter. Although if I stay the same manual adjustment setting in the behind, I mean the camera, I didn't do any adjustment in or any auto, just manual. So you can see how this thing works out right there. Okay. And then the bloom part and also, yeah, this part. Okay, right there. So this is at one eight. Okay, coming up next, you see some video that uh, I'll put it together that I did a portrait shoot, photo shoot with multiple GM lenses with this lens filter. I mean, with the one eight and one four side by side. Then you see the 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 result from yourself later on. And then after that, I'll show you some sample photo as well. And yeah, again, uh, with this lens filter, it's very creative. So it's no right or wrong which one is the best for you to choose. So I would say if I can, I would just grab everything <laughs> and then you use it uh, to your personal preferences and uh, during the shoot and maybe you want to have more stronger string or you want to have a weaker string, it's up to you. But the one I have here is a 1.8 and a 1.4. So hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the coming up.
Alright everyone, welcome back to this section of this video. As I mentioned earlier just now, I was actually testing out these two brand new filter right here with me, the k &F concept, which is the Black Diffusion uh, 1 over 4 and also 1 over 8. Uh, yeah, Black Diffusion filters right here. So uh, I'm going to walk you through some of the uh, demonstration right here where I'll be shooting in this lovely Damani Square location. Okay, and then I'll be using these two uh, side by side and you see the 1.8 and the 1.4 what are the differences in terms of the natural light shooting and of course the gear you're using right uh, you're seeing right now from the Alpha 1 as well as some of the G Master lenses that we're using these two together as I mentioned also earlier I'm using a step up ring so you can actually buy the largest filter which is the 82 meter right here and then I'm using a step up ring on the certain lenses so I can use this filter on across all different different lenses so Stay tuned for this video and then you can find, uh, see which one is the better for you. Of course, uh, my personal pick is, yeah, both are great. So I would just say, uh, if you like more dreamy effect, you know, the hello dreamy effect, as I'm using right now, I'm actually shooting with a 1.4 right there. And then you see this a big bit of glowing effect. Then, of course, if you don't want to have so much of the glowing, then you can have the bit of, uh, less like a 1.8. So the option is there for you. So you just see for yourself. Okay, with, uh, of course, very important. I also need to introduce my model today, which is right here, my good friend, Colleen, right here. I, but you can see on Instagram right there, please follow her. If you like to collaborate, uh, you know, in KL, Slang, or you want to look for, uh, do some photo shoots, you can always contact Colleen, and she's happy to come out to do some photo shoot with you. Of course, so she'll be my model today, and then we'll be doing all the demonstration in this lovely Tamarine Square. You can see some beautiful scenery. So all good. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Keep shooting.